Auburn football is on an absolute tear when it comes to defensive commits. We have a defensive back to add to the list. Let's talk about who that is and what it means for Hugh Freeze and Auburn football. War Eagle and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle here at E2C Network where we share the whole Auburn experience. As you're watching or listening today, be sure to drop a comment down below about this particular topic. We love to hear your thoughts as we're sharing ours. If you're keeping track, you know it has only been one week since the last commitment for Auburn and its 2024 class. That was Malik Blockton, who we've done a video about. Hope you'll go check that out if you want some more information about him. But let's jump into this one. New defensive back for 2024 class. His name, Jalen Crawford. Auburn had to beat out some heavy hitters in the SEC for that. That is Florida and LSU. That was a tough battle right there just because of the names alone. This commitment also makes it the fifth defensive commit that Auburn's had in a row and the sixth so far this summer. As we always do, let's start with the timeline of events that brought us to the point of this commitment today. We're going to start back in December 20th of 2022 with him as a junior where Auburn gave him an offer. Now there's some conflicting information here that maybe he received an offer. And I think actually that's correct from the previous staff. And we know how that season went. So a new staff obviously had to re-honor that offer, which makes sense for the interesting nature of those timelines. So we'll just call it somewhere in 2022, he received that offer from Auburn. Took several unofficial visits and one official visit. In fact, he did so with several of the other candidates, especially Florida and LSU before making his decision. He was part of Auburn's seven on seven camp. It just became more and more apparent as time went on and some insiders started predicting that this commitment was gonna take place. Now that you know how he got here, let's talk about some facts about Jalen Crawford so you can get to know him a little bit better. He is a four-star defensive back prospect from Lilburn, Georgia, played for Parkview High School. His measurables are approximately six foot to six foot one, 180 to 185 pounds. So you know that pretty much puts him in the cornerback category. But as we always say, make sure you wait till these guys get into a college program and see how they develop. When they get there, things could obviously change. Now let's back up a few of the facts with a few stats for Jalen Crawford. I can tell you this, that he seems to have been starting since he was a sophomore in high school, at least had the opportunity to start dating back to that sophomore year. Now in his junior year, we're gonna talk about some stats here, 29 total tackles and three interceptions. That time so far that he's had in high school has got him several honors and all-stars and things of that nature. Sounds like a pretty high caliber guy so far. A few storylines around this particular commitment. Honestly, it just continues to reiterate the hot summer that Auburn is having, especially with defensive commitments. And a lot of that is in part to guys like Wesley McGriff and Zach Etheridge. We knew how good of a recruiter Zach was, and previously with having Wes McGriff as part of an Auburn staff, having them together is proving to pay huge dividends with this defensive back class that has assembled thus far, which obviously now includes Jalen Crawford. Now that you know about the player, let's get into what it means for Auburn football and their 2024 class numbers. This now brings the total commits in this class to 11 at the time of this particular commitment. It also makes it the seventh the defensive commit of the class thus far, the fourth defensive back commit, and the third cornerback commit overall. Now let's answer the question, what might his playing opportunities be when he arrives onto campus? I always expect these guys to redshirt when they first arrive, but we'll see what happens. Let's look at the depth chart a little bit. We know that we're losing three guys, DJ James, Nehemiah Pritchett, and maybe even Jalen Simpson, who sometimes plays a safety position too. We've also got Keontae Scott as a junior. If he has a good enough season, he might be gone as well. You've also got a nice crop of young talent that's just arrived. Kay and Lee is an example of that. He might be a superstar in the making and some guys that are already a part of this class. An Amon Lane, a Jaden Lewis, that are also gonna factor into this as well. All that to say, there's a lot of talent to fight through even after losing those three guys as seniors. Now let's talk about where this particular commit is from in building pipelines in the recruiting game. This one comes from the state of Georgia, and surprisingly, this is only the second commit from the state of Georgia, pretty much our second most important state in our recruiting battles thus far in this class. So it is interesting that it's taken such a slow start with that, but if you counter that with how well we're doing in our home state of Alabama, 
I'm okay with it for right now. And finally, what will this commitment mean for the rest of the 2024 class and even more specifically at the cornerback position in this class? Now let's break it down a little bit to fine tune this discussion. If we look at so far on the roster, you've got 12 guys listed, 10 of those in my estimation are gonna see the most playing time. Breaking it down further, three seniors, one junior, one sophomore, and four freshmen. And you know that you're going to most likely have three of those spots vacated. With three in the class now with this commitment at cornerback, all those spots are effectively filled, but there's still going to probably be some attrition. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's yet one more cornerback coming into this class. So that's my thoughts on Jalen Crawford, your new defensive back commitment. Want to know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And be sure to do that so you can be part of that subscriber giveaway that ends at 4,000 subscribers. And as always, do check out those links in the description for ways that you can help support us here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle.